Good evening to our lecturer, Dr. Rudy Ansar, and to all my fellow friends. My name is Ayn, and I will be reviewing the article of Ethical Practice Disclosure of Malaysian Public Listed Companies, authored by Ahmad Firdaus Zainal Abidin, Hafiza Aisha Hashim, Zalaila Saleh, and Sulela Devi. Let's dive into the valuable insights provided in this article while also exploring areas that could benefit from further exploration and improvement. What is the article about? The article highlights the current state of ethical practice disclosure among Malaysian public listed companies. It sheds light on the importance of transparency and accountability in corporate governance. The authors, Ahmad Firdaus Zainal Abidin, Hafiza Aisha Hashim, Zalaila Saleh, and Sulela Devi present valuable insights that we will examine in details. Malaysia Public Listed Companies the authors emphasize the significance of ethical practice disclosure and its impact on stakeholders, including shareholders, employees, and the general public. They provided evidence of the positive correlation between transparent disclosure and the company's reputation and financial performance. Let us start with the introduction. The main objective of this paper is to investigate the extent to which Malaysian public listed companies disclose their ethical practices. To measure ethical practice disclosure, the author employs a modified version of the Ethical Commitment Index ECI, consisting of six themes derived from existing literature. These themes encompasses corporate ethical values, action taken to promote ethics, whistleblowing policies, codes of ethics, sustainability practices, and ethic committees. The article focuses on the ethical values within public listed companies in Malaysia. In this study, the researchers examined the disclosure of ethical practices by 223 public firms listed on the main board of Bursa Malaysia over a period of five years, totaling 1,115 years of observation. The survey focuses exclusively on non-financial firms, excluding 52 banking industry firms due to their distinct legal and accounting practices. The methodology used is the measurement of ethical practice disclosure. Contained research is employed to assess the disclosure of ethical activities by cooperation. The researchers analyze various comments regarding ethical standards found in the annual report to evaluate the extent of ethical practice disclosure. The disclosure of ethical practices is quantified using the Ethical Engagement Index, which was previously developed by Choi and Jung. This index aims to assess cooperation, disclosure of their legal commitments based on their code of ethics and accountability. Other factors evaluated included the code of ethics, whistleblowing procedures, ethic educations, ethic commissions, and employee reviews of corporations. Based on the methodology employed by the authors, it can be inferred that they have accessed relevant sources and obtained accurate information, including data from Bursa Malaysia. This indicates the reliability of their methodology, making it difficult to criticize. The primary focus of this article revolves around the study's result which include various aspects of corporate ethic values, action to promote ethics, whistleblowing policies, code of ethics, sustain sustainability practices, and ethic committees. The initial finding indicates that many companies in Malaysia do not prioritize ethics or include it in their reports. However, after implementing the corporate ethic values phase, there is an observable increase in the importance of ethics for companies and its inclusion in their reports. This suggests that the author conducted an in-depth study to gather information from company reports. In conclusion, this illustrates the significance of ethics as a crucial aspect that companies in Malaysia must prioritize. However, I find certain aspects of the methodology and results, particularly the sample size, to be subject to criticism. While the author employed appropriate methodology, the sample size of only 223 companies listed in 2016 may introduce bias and weaken the analysis. Relying on such a small sample raises questions about the valuability and vulnerability of the paper. 
Although the author utilizes listed companies in Bursa Malaysia, it does not provide a comprehensive representation of all listed companies in Malaysia. Thus, the study's result may not present a complete picture. To address this limitation, it is recommended to include a larger, more diverse sample size in the future studies to enhance data accuracy and minimize potential critique. This recommendation would enable the author to gather more precise data and address potential criticisms. Another constraint pertains to the ethical components discussed in the report. The existing index should be expanded to be better aligned with the current ethical landscape and meet the national anti-corruption plans. Call for a more comprehensive index to shape an ethical corporate and environment. That is all for me for reviewing this article. Uh, thank you to Dr. Rudy for this opportunity and see you guys all during the final examination. Bye! That is all for me for reviewing this article. Uh, thank you to Dr. Rudy for this opportunity and see you guys all during the final examination. Bye!